Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Radio, welcome to our today's lectures. We are still on the course BDT 152 Basic Dispensing Theory. Basic Dispensing Theory. Two. Okay, um, we are still on the topic powders and granules. And um, yesterday we stopped at uh, we stopped at uh, prescription of granules. So today we we'll start from preparation of granules. Preparation of granules. Discuss the preparation of granules in general. Then we will then talk about uh, effervescent granules because effervescent granules is special. Okay, it's special. It's not like other granules. So that's why we will bring, bring out time to discuss preparation of effervescent granules. Okay. So generally, granules are prepared by two methods. The first is wet method and a dry method. Wet method and dry method. You know, it's not every, every um, active ingredient or recipient, as case may be, that tolerates what moisture, right? Yes. So when the drug in question doesn't tolerate moisture, the best thing to do is to use dry water. Method. But if you can, you can use what? Wet method. Now, remember what we discussed yesterday about, um, about granules. We said that granules is an ag agglomeration of what? Powder. powder, right? So you agglomerate powder to form what? Granules. So whatever, whatever we are going to discuss with respect to preparation of granules has to do with anything that you do to ensure that the powder particles come together. Am I communicating? Come together to form a mass that you can end up uh, end up uh, screening to, to give you the the particular particle size you want to achieve. So using wet using wet wet method, there is presence of moisture to bring them what together. Two of us. Now, so for wet method, you, you have to do what you moisten the powder, be it a dosage form that requires only the active ingredient or the one that you stay add other 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 ingredient that like, I mean I mean excipient or adjunct. You moisten the powder. The powder, the active ingredient, or the mix of the active ingredient and the what excipients. You moisten. So you moisten the powder or the powder mixture. When you hear powder mixture, you're talking about the active ingredient and other yes, yes. excipients. Then you pass, having moistened it, it will form a paste, okay? Mm. It will form a what? Paste. A paste. So you pass the paste through what? A screen of mesh what? Sizes of the desired mesh size to produce the desired size of the what granules, mm. just like those that knows how to process don't have to process garlic. When you are done, what do you do? You get that 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 thing that that is what 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 do they call it? That that does it that what 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 do they call it? Those that eh? <laughs> <laughs> you get your. 
you are pan, right? Yes. Or you are busy. Mm -hmm. And put that not on top on top, top of it, then take the pressed, already pressed mass, mass of the what? Cassava, right? Mm -hmm. And you and you be doing like this, right? Yes. That we are doing is screening. You have already formed a damp a, a mass. You 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 pressed it, remember? You press it in, in the way they, they do the pressing. They press it for, for some time. Then you form a damp mass, right? You come back, you, you start doing like this, right? So when you are done, what you see inside the, the basin is granules. So the, the, the cassava has been what? Am I completely? You now go. That thing you call frying is roasting, right? But yeah, you're actually drying it. Right? You dry it. Before you now package it as you are gathering what granules. So this this is my idea now. Bring it here. That's what you do. You get a powder, you put them in damp form, right? You moisten it. By what method? When you are done, you do what? You screen, right? So whatever, depending on the, the your desired particle size, you depend on the sieve or the screen screen. Side, mesh side of the screen you want to use. When you are done, that grounds you produce, you use to dry it. I might, I might complete it. So you dry it to form the what? Granules. Then if, it is, if you want to coat it, you coat it, right? You coat it, I, I, I have described coating, right? Yes. You spray, just the same way you want your garlic to be red in color, right? Yes. You use oil to do what? That is cutting. Two of us. Yes. You mix the oil. Two of us. At the end, you have red garlic and what? White garlic. So, so when you are done, when having, having um, produced the granules of your required size, you do what? You place on dry trees to do what? Dry them on. You either use air or use what? Heat. Okay? You dry them in the air or use what? Heat. Depending on the nature, on the physical, physical chemical properties of the active ingredient there. They are, they are those that are highly thermalabi. True or false? So these are things you consider while drying. Whether you are going to use heat or what? Air dry. So that, this is basically what you do. In what? Wet what? Granulation. So, under this, 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 this one is, is, is kind of manual. There are other, you can also use what is called fluid bed dryer. Okay? You people have not done for industrial trip. Maybe, let's see what the, the SUG is saying this semester. If you go for industrial trip, then those that went last year. <coughs> They saw the fluid bed what dryer in the manufacturing outlet we went to. Mm -hmm. I showed them the fluid bed dryer. It's like this. Mm -hmm. So there you have there the, the, the if you own it, the granules will just as as they as they as they come up and as they will spray and they will what dry inside the what the fluid bed what. Dryer. So you don't need to carry it and go outside or start heating it like you are drying your garlic like this. You don't, you, you don't have to pass through those things. I'm, I'm, I'm communicating. Yes. Use what? Fluid bed what? Right. So what you do is this. I Maybe you can Google maybe diagram of what? Or image of what? A fluid bed what? Right. You can even go to, you, you can even go to YouTube. And a search for full bed right? you see how how they are they get they are different. No, and I, I mean I yes I know it's there, but I mean real life maybe maybe have video or something like that. You can you can always do, do that. You appreciate what I'm talking about. So now so another method of under wet method, you have the use of what? Fluid bed what processing. All right. Here now. Here now, the particles are placed in a conical piece of what? Equipment. So that fluid bed dryer is like, is a conical piece of what? Equipment. And are vigorously what? Dispersed and suspended. Why 
liquid excipient is sprayed on the what? Particles. Then the product is what? Dry. Forming granules of what? Required what? Sizes. Forming granules of what? Required what? Sizes. Then, another method we can use is dry method. Dry method. Under dry method, we have two methods. Under dry method, you can use you can use you can use the what row, row compactor or slugging. You can use row compactor or what slugging. Now, here now in dry method, in dry method, the powder in question. You know, remember here you are not moistening you are not moistening anything. Remember, remember you are not moistening it. Remember. So all the, all you need to do here is to do what? Pass the what the dry powder through the what row compactor. Then from there now it, it's connected to what the granulating machine, and at the end you get your what product. So what really happens inside that row compactor? What happens there? It's the same thing. It's the same relation process, but this one has now become what? Unlike the one you're doing right now, it's now there. And we just put the powder. The whole process will take place, and you, at the end of the, the thing, you receive your what granules. So what row compactor? You, you can also call it a what? A row press or roller what <laughs> compactor. Now, at the end of the whole thing, this thing has the process. The, the the when you have the the, the the fine powder, you know the powder is fine. It will do what? Bring them as what? Compact, 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 or compact. To bring them as what? Together as what? Dense what? Sheet. Dense what? Sheet. Okay? As dense what? Sheet. There was one feature of this. The row compactor, it has two. two what is it called? That rotates in what direction? They rotate in opposite to what? Each other. Now, what they do, if you, if that fine product is in, in, introduced, now this we now, this rotation, the friction, we cause the powder to come as come out as what? A dense what? Sheet. A dense what? Sheet. Now, remember, remember you don't need moisture. So you need what we bring them together to form that sheet. Am I communicating? Is this action of this good that they are run counter to each other, that, that now form that word, dense word, sheet. Because you need something extra to make them come to what, together. Since moisture is not there, water is not there to bring together. So you need force to bring the word together. So now, when this thing grew, as you pour the powder at the roll like this, what will come out is what? Dense sheet of the word, of the what? The, the blend. Now, with, when this is done, now the next thing now is, is to is to do, do what? Pass it through a, a what? A granulator. Inside that granulator you have, of course, there's when you see a granulator, there, there must be a what screen, the three of us, because you need it to come out as the what? As particles to, to come out as granules of the particle side. What enters there is a dense sheet of the power of the powder blend. But what will come out at the end is what? Granules of what? The particle That's size, nice. depending on the mesh size of what is inside the what? The letter. Am I communicating? Yes. So this is exactly what what? If you, if, you, if, you, if you listen, if you listen to me very, very, very well, you, you, you understand that it's still the same process, but through different what? Means. Some are easier, faster, but it's still the same what? Process. Mixing them, blending them, and do what? Granulating them. So that's the basic principle behind it. Now, so, so when that that that, that density that is, is is a compact, that's why that's why why we are where the name came from. Roll compactor, they roll and compact it to form a dense what sheet. So the compacted powder is granulated to what uniform particle size in a mechanical granulator. Have you seen it now? So there there is process of compactor granulation process. Compactor, granulation. Compact them and granulate them. This is the process. This is what will happen inside that what system. So the powder, the powder compactors are generally combined in a sequence of what integrated compactor what granulation what system. 
That's basically what happened there. As, as you can see in the what? The diagram in the course material. You see there? The raw material is added, right? Yes, sir. Then if you watch, the, the raw material is added. Then, then at the end, at the end, they will, it will come out, right? It, it, it comes out as dense what? Sheet. What is, if you see that place, the, the root uh, products, that's where the, the, the granules come out. On top of it, you see the what? Granulator, okay? And inside the granulator now, on top of the granulator, you see crusher. That's what will crush it. Two of us, it, it needs to be crushed first. Because it's, it's, a, it's a dense mass, compact. So you need to be crushed first. Then the granulator will now do what? Inside, inside the granulator now, at the end, it will come out as what? Granules. So this is basically what, what happened. This is basically what, what happens in there. I've seen, there's one video. The music I made that I didn't save that video. I later looked check for that, look, look for that video. I didn't see it again. One Indian company. One Indian company. They were process guy. Not this one, not this. One big company like that. Different stage. All you need to do is to get cassava. Just get cassava and put it at one end and wait. Give you some time. You go, you go, you go at the end of the system and collect your what? Dry dairy in bag, packaged in bags for you. Everything. I was why I was like, wow. From the beginning, you get it. You you get the cassava pour. It will wash it. It will wash the what? The, 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 the. From there, it will it, it get to where it will it do what? Till it. From there, different, different stations. Different stations. It, it, it get to where it it, 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 it will do what? Grind it. Where it will do what? Dry it. Compact it. And where, where, where it, it will do what? Granulate it. It will come out as granules. And where it will dry it. So different. They were just showing different stages. I was like, wow. So, I, I realized that this is an integrated system, right? We are everything is happening inside. So, this is exactly what happens in what? Rural what? Compactor. Compactor, generation what? System. Now, let's look at uh, slugging. Slugging. What is slugging? Slugging is nothing but compression of a powder or powder mixture into a what? A large, into large tablets <coughs> by, on a what? Compressing machine under the 8,000 to of pressure. So the pressure should be up to 2 to 8,000 pounds, pounds, okay? Now, this tablet form that are called what? Slugs. This tablet form that are called what? No. They are intermediates. They are, they are intermediate products, okay? It's not the end products. The slugs are intermediate products. When the slugs are formed, you continue your what? You are what? The granulation process. That is what is the slug now that is what you now crush and do what? Granulate, okay? Hero compactor, the, the compactor do what? Form it as a dense sheet of what? powder mix or the powder but in slugging you apply a pressure of about 10 to to what eight, eight to two thousand pounds on it it will compact it will form a compact and but that will be a tablet that large tablet they are called what slug so is that tablet now that what will be crushed and passed through what granulator to produce their what granules Am I completing? Yes. And these tablets are flat faced, diameter of about 2.5 centimeters or one inch. So, slugging is the compression of what? Of a powder or powder mixture into large tablets or slots on a compressing what? Machine. Under what? 8,000 to 10,000 watt. Still depending. It's also, it also depends, the pressure there depends on the physical characteristics 
Yeah, because for a powder that doesn't have much issues with coming together, you don't need much work. Pray the three of us. You know that cannot come together easily, you have to apply. So so that they, they can come together and form what? The slug. Now, and I say that the slugs are what flat faced, right? Yes. They are flat. Good. And they are 2.5 centimeters in what? Diameter. Now, so these slugs are what you now granulate to the required what? Particle, particle size. size. So the slugs are granulated into the desired particle size. Generally for use in the production of what? Tablets. You know, when you go into pro tablet production, there's what is called granulation process. You will still need this granulation process in tablet what? Production. Under, under that granulation, you see how we are wet granulation and you are dry granulation. So this is what happens in dry granulation for tablet. So when you now produce the granules, that granules after 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 granulating, after crushing the the slug, granulating the slug to produce your granules, you now that granules is what will now go into the tabletting machine for what? For what? Tablet, they will now compress it into tablets. So slugs are intermediate what? Product. That's the end what? Product. So you can granulate it and package it as granules or still use it for your what? Tablet eh? production. So, but because there is no moisture in dry metal, there is always presence of so much what? Fines. You know what fines are? Right? Fines are what? Fines are what? The smallest of the particle size, right? Yes. They are more like dust. If you put it here, blow it through, through of us, yes. they are fines. So, the dry process often results in what? Production of fines. What are fines? Fines are powders that are not what? Agglomerated into what? Granules. Yeah. Even in the presence of granules produce, you still see fines there because of dry. Had it been, you know? That is why if you want to sweep this place, doing dry scene or hamata, the first thing to do is to do what? Because what I have the way of bringing the word, the fines, the dust together, two of us, without it, you can't even enter here. So this, that, that what happens. Because of the absence of moisture, there is more, the fines there is more. So you can, through this process, you can also do what? Separate, you can separate the fines and do what again? Reprocess the fine again. Of course, that is passed through the same process again, two of us. Yes. And yeah, but you have to do your calculation well to be sure that the fine actually contain the required active ingredients in the three of us. True. Good. So that is the, what happens in what? Slugging. Slugging. This is what happens in what? Slugging. Slugging. So let's go into. I say that effervescent granules, they are special. So that's why we want to look at effervescent separately. Effervescent granules separately. Now, effervescent granules. I think I, I, I explained one or two things about effervescent granules yesterday. Yeah. Yes. I told you that in the production, you set up a chemical reaction and stop on the way. Which will be com com completed when the patient wants to use the word. Because you put it, it will, the CO2 will do what? So, this is basically what the place will be behind what ever we said. Now, let's continue. So, the FFZN granules are produced through in two ways fusion method and what? Wet method. Fusion method and what? Wet method. Wet method. So, let's start with fusion method. Let's start with what? Fusion method. So what happens in fusion method? Remember I told you yesterday that citric acid has one molecule of what? Water of what? Crystallization. And I and I, I, I gave you examples of ingredients you see in the effervescent granules. I said we have sodium bicarbonate is there. Tartaric acid is there. Citric acid is there, right? Yes. And even so, so, sodium carbonate is also what? Yes. There. There's sodium bicarbonate. Basically, 
is the reaction between the citric acid and the what? The sodium what? Bicarbonate, trough what? Or hydrogen carbonate that will cause what? The, ev the evolution of the what? CO2. Am I complete? So that thing you see bubbling is what? CO2. Carbon four oxide. So now, infusion method, you don't need to moisten it, no moisture. Is that that one molecule of water of crystallization in citric acid, that's what acts as a what? Moisture infusion method. Please note this point. So, infusion method, the one molecule of water of crystallization in each molecule of what? Citric acid acts as a binding agent for the powder mixture. You know what I mean by binding agent, right? The binding agent moisture, just like as you have in your in your wet granulation. The moisture is there to bind them together to form a dense mass. Three of us, you don't need to man pressure, just that moisture alone is will help to do what we need. So here now, what we bring them together is what? The one molecule of what? Water of what? Crystallization. The one molecule of what? Water of what? Crystallization. Now, before missing the powders, the citric acid are powder, of course, not normal. That one, you should do that one now. Everyone, you should powder them, two of us. So that one is normal. So you, you, you pulverize the, 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 the citric acid. You pulverize the citric acid. Then mix with other words, powders of the same words, sieve size, to ensure uniform. You've done this, right? Yes. So you are you're not new to this. This is this thing that, you're not, uh, this thing that we are, I'm saying now, we are used to it, so we have discussed it. Let's just go straight to the point. What happened? What makes? Let's go to what makes effervescent granules preparation. What special? The whole process. You, you tell that process. I hope you know. Yes. Then now here now. Now listen carefully here. There are some precautions you need to take in preparing in preparing effervescent granules. The environment needs to be what well controlled. Am I completing? Yes. This is no longer anyhow now. You can't just go there. Go, uh, go there in the dispensing lab and say, anyhow, the compound, you should control the humidity, the humidity of the what? Compounding room. It should be of very, very low what? Humidity. True of us? Yes, it should. Because if excess moisture in the environment can do what? Trigger what? What you are preparing will just be, in fact, the reaction will, will be complete even before you package it to complete. And if you complete it, it's a waste. True of us? So you control the what? Humidity. And you also be careful, of course, be careful of the what, the, 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 the what is it called, the materials you are using in the compounding. It should be made up of what? Steel. In fact, as I, as I speak to you now, now self, before, now that has made it in the even composite. So you can't even establish a manufacturing outlet and using the vessels you are using for mixing, they must what? Stainless what? Steel. To avoid what? Corrosion. Am I communicating to avoid affecting the the what we are using to what we are using to do what for your mixing and other 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 things you are doing? Of course, you know the implication of that. Yeah. It's not just about that. You are, you are that the like on, on even here now. It, this one is even a seed. So it, it's not just about about uh, maybe 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 affecting your the vessel. It's also about the health of the what. A person because that thing, that reaction, whatever come out of that thing will enter the watch. What you are doing, what producing, two of us, which is not good for the health of your what. Person. So they should be what stainless, what still not this point now. So, what actually happened? Anything you are doing in come in, in this effervescent granules compounding must be very, very what fast. You should do it what? Rapidly. So the mixing of the powders is performed as rapidly as practicable. Of course, I've mentioned it should be in an environment of low water. So preferably in an environment of low humidity to avoid what? Absorption of moisture and premature chemical what? Reaction. So the chemical reaction you started with, 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 before, you, before you, you, you even package it will complete it. So you have nothing to do what? Package again. Two of us. Good. So now, another thing is that 
after mixing, after, after mixing, the powder is, should, is placed on a stable dish. Now, of course, remember we mentioned drying, right? Yes. If you are drying, the temperature should not be red more than what? 40 what? Degrees, right? The temperature, because the ground sequence must be what? Dry, right? Yes. So the temperature should not be more than what? 40 degrees. So how can you maintain that steady temperature in the lab? Temperature, heat, heating it at a constant temperature, right? Yes. So how can you maintain it? What, what equipment can you use to achieve that? They forgot to check. <coughs> Who said that? Thank you. Thank you. Water what? Bath. Laboratory water what? Bath. So, so, so let's continue. So after mixing the par after mixing the powder is placed on a suitable dish in an oven at what? 30 degrees Celsius. There are also some oak the oak here now. Here, here, uh, here, the oven, of course, the oven should also be able to do what? Maintain a steady what? Temperature. Uh, uh, Three of us True. should also be what? Maintain a what? A steady what? Temperature. But, uh, but, uh, but on a general note, you use what? Water bath for your what? Steady what? Temperature. Maybe if you have just small, few, maybe maybe the 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 what you are processing in just small quantity or whatever you want to do, you can heat it at that what at what constant what temperature on the water bath. Now, about the oven. Have you eaten our before? No. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. 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 Hmm? No, 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 I, I think you, you, you are physics practice was introduced this day, right? Yes, sir. Right? Don't worry, you should enter, don't worry. If you get there, you see the, the oven and other, and, and other things you need to see. So just as you have your, your stainless steel spatula, you are, you are going to use, you also be what? Acid what? Resistant. Am I completing? Because most of the things you will you encounter in FM cent granules, mainly acid attack, acidic attack. So whatever you are going to use must be resistant to what? Acid. acid. Have, how many precautions have I? How many pre precautions have I? Okay. I mentioned three, right? Yes, sir. In this material, did you see precautions written there? No. Uh -huh. When you see what precautions is just say, ah, so I didn't teach you this one. It's not, it's not in the material law. Okay? Yes. I know why I'm missing them like this. Yeah. Like a bug is. It's four, so now let's now look at what happened with the what? Water of what? Crystallization. Now, when you heat, out together. When you the heat now releases the what water of crystallization from the what citric what acid from the what citric what acid. Remember you mix. Remember what we are doing here. You mix, right? After mixing, you go and heat it in the what oven, right? A constant what temperature. Now the heat will release water of what from the what. Citric water acid. Now, see what happens. This water oxidation will now dissolve what? What will dissolve? A portion, a portion of what? A portion. It will dissolve what? A portion of the what? Powder what? Mixture. Setting the chemical reaction in what? In, in place. Okay? It will set up chemical reaction. Now, it will release what? Carbon dioxide. carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide is released, what will happen? It will do what? Soften the mass. Form, form a dough, right? Yes. You know what happens in your bread now? Yes. When yeast release 
CO2, right? Mm -hmm. If you do what? The dough will rise, right? Yes. The dough snap. Now, this carbon dioxide that, that, that is released is, is re, 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 will cause what? To soften the mass and do what? Become what? Spongy. It will become spongy and the, in fact, it will form a dough. Simple. Let's, let's forget about long story. It will form a what? Yes. You know what a dough is now? Yes. You've seen donut, right? Yes. Uh, of course, if you have pro 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 produced bread before, you know what you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. That's why we have unleavened bread and what? Unleavened bread is just a mixture of this flour in compound this like this us. Now, when the yeast is there, yeast will, will through, through, through fermentation, right? It will release what? CO2. The CO2 will now cause it to become spongy. It will rise. It will rise. So that's what's called what? The rising of the what? The dough. Now, so this CO2 we cause, we soften the mass of powder to become somewhat what? Spongy. And when it has reached the proper consistency, that is as a bread dough, it is removed from the oven. What you? When it gets to that level, it will do what? Remove it from it. It don't continue. You, you, you remove it from the what? Oven. And when that is done, you do what? You rub it. What, what do you want to achieve here now? If you rub it on the sea, what, what, do, you, what, do, what, what do you want to achieve? That is, you, the proper Galatians will not take place, true of us. The proper Galatians will not do what? Take place. And what you now produce is your what? Is your what? The granules of the required what? Size. So, now, it is removed from the oven and rubbed through a sieve to produce granules of what desired size. Now, preferably, sieve number four produces large what granules. Number eight produces what medium what white ten produces what small granules. Small what granules. Now. The next thing now is to dry the final granules. Dry on that granules. And you, see, you should also be careful here. If you're not careful, you mess everything you have done in water. So here now, you dry it at a temperature that is not more than 54 degrees water. And immediately you do what? And seal it. So everything you are going to do, you should be very fast. If you leave it, other, other things will, will, do, will, will do what? Take place. So immediately you dry, the next thing you do, well, don't you allow it to just, from there you do what? And the uh, it. Because once it got, get in contact with moisture, boom, you know there's moisture in that atmosphere, right? The, comp the reaction will trigger and it will complete the and if if you complete there, you have nothing. In fact, you have produced nothing. You have done what? Produce nothing. So these are what happen in the what? If I sent what? Grams. You get your powder mix, right? You, you, you get the ingredient, tartaric acid. Sodium bicarbonate, as case may be, and citric acid. Remember, citric acid had one molecule of what? Water of what? You follow the same process. You mix properly. Okay? You mix. Now, what happens now? What 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 happens? What will release the water of crystallization? What will release the water of crystallization? When you 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 when when you do what? Hey! I, I look at your material and tell me. Is that weird? The what? No, you have mixed, right? Yes. So what next will you do? You eat it now? Good. At, at, at constant temperature, between 35 degrees and what? 40, right? In an oven, right? Yes. So what happened? The water pressure will release, right? Yes. Because most most hydrated substances 
are unstable under him. Two of us. Two of us. If heat it, the water will do what? Two of us. Now, that heat will now do what? Release the one, one molecule of what? Water was That will now initiate the what? Trigger the what? Chemical what? Reaction. What chemical reaction is being triggered? Now, at what point will you stop? Because it will something the mass now yes. and form a what? It will get it must get to a consistency of a bread dough before you now do what? Remove it from you. And do what again? On the seed, right? Yeah, yeah. To get the particle side of your choice, right? Yes. Then what next? I immediately do what? So this is basically what happened. Basically what happened in what? To put on FMC and what? Ground is using what? Using what? Fusion method. Now let's look at wet method. Let's look at wet method. What happens in wet method? Wet method, you don't need water of what? So now in wet method, what happens? Wet method is different from what? Fusion method. Because the bind, the source of the binding, the binding agent is not what? Water of what? Because the binding agent is not water of what? Visualization. Which, which comes from where? Citric acid. So what then is the buying agent? So hydroalcoholic mixture is, a, is the moisting what? Agent. Hydroalcoholic what? Mixture. So water added to alcohol is used as what? Moisting agent. So when the hydroalcoholic mixture is now added, it will form a what? A, a, a what pliable what mass for what granulation. So here now you 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 uh, an hydros anhydrous powder is, is enough because you don't need water of what? Realization. Am I completing? Yes. So you do your thing. So of course the, 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 the same process takes place. When 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 it is done, you do what? You do what? You do what? You granulate and do what? Package. Package and dry. So once you add enough portion of the liquid, you prepare the mass to get the proper, proper consistency you are doing what? Looking for. And you do what? Dry and what? Package. I gave you formula. There, in, the, in, your, in your material, you see a, a formula for what? Citric acid and, and the, and the ta, 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 and tartrate uh, BP, granules. You see ingredients, right? You see yes. sodium bicarbonate, yes. tartaric acid, yes. citric acid, and the sucrose. Okay. Now, let's look at uh, advantages. I think that's really nice, right? What next, according to the outline we, we, we gave yesterday? Go through your notes. We are following that outline I gave yesterday. Advantage that, That's what we should discuss now. Advantage of, advantage of, and service of, of what? Yeah. So let's look at it. Let's look at the advantages and what? Advantages of what? Ramos. Now. What are the advantages of what? Granules. Number one, we have already mentioned, I hope you know. Let me just say it for saying sake, but we have already mentioned it. You can write it if you actually, we are in the class. You know what, 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 what I mean by being in the class? You can be in the class, but you're not in the class. Two of us, if you are actually in the class, you can. So, advantages. Granules are more what? Flowable no, compared to what? Two of us? Yes, sir. The next one is what? They have good compressibility. They have what? Good compressibility. Yes, two of us. Um, you agree with me? Yes, sir. Good. We, we, we discussed this yesterday. They have what? Good compressibility. Good what? Compressibility. They avoid segregation. 
Under what? Oh yeah. Tell me. Oh yeah. Tell us. Under what? Second one. Mm. It's you. Not me. You. Next, we can talk about where. More what? Step or how? Explain. Why are they more stable? <laughs> okay, I agree with you. Eh? Another one. They are Six. <laughs> yeah, but there is the words. What? Another one. So what? 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 What advantage do you confer to them? Having small subsidies. Smaller than powder, I agree. So what advantage does it confer to them? Good, good. I like that. That that the that is reason for the answer she gave. That uh, more stable. Because there's no room for what such we have three of us. But in powder is they are open. See me, I'm available. Oh yeah. Come and come and act. Three of us. But uh granules is like this, no space, no chance. Three of us. Good. All right, so they are more easily what wetter than, than than powder. I agree with you. What are the disadvantages? Yes, yes. You cannot completely mask it. You cannot completely do what. So if the drug has very 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 nauseating or bitter taste, yeah, that you. Even the capsule, even the capsule self, yes. what you put inside capsule, you stay passive, passive, the true, true, true of us, let alone what you have in ground. You cannot completely mask it. Even tablet, you mask completely. Still, true of us, so, so you cannot, so it depends on the what, the, what is it called? The, the, the property of the what, active ingredient. So, so mask of beta test is an issue. Number two, under one. They are not good for what? With low what? Low the two of us. Yes, I think, I think we, we mentioned this, right? Yes. That granules is not good for, even granules and powder, they are not good for such, unless they are divided. Because of the inner, you know, you know those potent drugs with low, that are low dose and potent drugs, those drugs, you should be careful about, about it. Any issue in the dosing will cause problems. Three of us, any issue in the dose will cause what? Problem. So if the dose of a drug is of utmost importance, don't, don't even go into granules or powder. Unless that drug, the only way you, 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 you can survive is in powder or granules, but it should be divided. Three of us, or you can prepare it for, 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 for as oral powder or oral granules for for suspension or what solution, two of us, uh, but not that uh, you just use, use it like that as drug. It's not good for such drug. And that one, do you know why? Moisture, they are not stable. Why? Because they have pores. God bless you. They are easily, they will easily what? Wetter. Because they are easily what? Wetted. So they are not stable. And that one? Packaging and what? Storage. You should be very, very careful about their packaging. Three of us? Yes. Especially FIV sent. Three of us? Very, very what? Careful with their what? Packaging. So, what is next in the outline? Containers and containers and The one I gave you, not the one in the material. The one I gave you. Uh, containers and packaging. Containers and what? So let's discuss the containers, okay? I said the one I wrote on the board, not the one on the material. Containers and packaging. What next one? Containers and packaging. Okay. 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 Okay.
containers and packages. Hey. All right. So let's let's hey. It's okay. It's okay. Let's continue. Let's look at the words. Containers. Then packaging, labeling. They should come together. Okay. Containers, packaging. Level. So they should be stored in a what? Airtight what? Container. Any question? <coughs> Who is there? Okay. The person should wait. I will soon leave the class, okay? So the container should be what? Air. Tight. Very, very important. Should be what? Air, air what? Tight. Air what? Tight. You see the researches. So, air tight what? Container. Of course, we, of course we, we discussed different what? Containers, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, what about color of container do you think this should be, should be, should be packaged? I'm listening. We have done containers. So, now, you should, should, should be able to say something now. Uh, so, continue. Uh, what else? I'm listening. Continue. Okay. I am listening. What if we, can it be can it be divided? Yes. Yes now. It, it can be in such a two of us. Such a two of us, then such a two of us. I continue. I'm listening. No. no. No, it's not also. I uh, continue. I'm listening. I agree, eh? I'm listening. Okay, basically, it should be, it should be what? A type, okay? It should be what? A type, basically. Then, eh? Uh, Does, does uh, okay, what atmospheric condition do you think can affect, affect it apart, apart from moisture? Anyway, it depends on the drug, but basically it should be, it should be what? Majorly, let it be in amber, okay? Or plastic, yes. or plastic joint, uh, or other plastic or glass, okay? Depending anyway, but if you say divided, if, if, if it's, as I said, you divide them, best, best service to do what? Put it in such a, okay? Seal it, two of us, uh, because of what? Moisture. Because of what? Moisture. Because of what? Moisture. To protect it against moisture. That one is very, very important. Protect it against what? Moisture is very, very what? important. Now, okay, ask your question. Yeah? Closure. Yeah. What do you think? I've taught you closure, so what do you think? Snap fix. Screw cap. Okay. What what else? Oh, you, wait, oh, is he is he only, only one person I, I, I taught containers and and, and the closure? <laughs> 
<laughs> only one voice, sir. Only one voice. You just one voice. Only one. Only do. I have only the soul voice in the wilderness. Others are just mute. Only one person is talking. Can you see something here? Look at the course material. Did, did you see multi dose container for uh, for granules? Look at on that container. Can, 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 you, can you see it? It's bulk, right? That's bulk, right? The one do, do, do that, that, is, that, that is pouring away. Yes. It's bulk, right? Yes. It's plastic, right? Yes. Container, right? What, what type of closure is there? It's cool now. Yes, it's cool. Now, look down. Can you see the one in such it? Yes. That's the divided one, right? Yes. So it can be divided and also what? So what is next thing to talk about? What is the next thing? The shelf life. Shelf life. Shelf life is labeling. Just in the labeling, just direction for use, the name of the drawer, the medicine and the direction for use. What have you? Dissolve what? Dissolve or mix with what? Water before what? Dissolve or mix with what? Water before what? The normal dose is one to five gram of of taking in what? Liquid. Of course, antacid. You still do antacid. In your second, that will be a second year. You should take in what? Between meals and at bedtime. Between what? Meals and at bedtime. At bedtime. Okay. What next? So you. Half life is as as half life. Chef life is what? Two to what? Three weeks. Two to what? Three weeks. Two to what? Three weeks. Storage. It should be in airtight, right? Yes. In a cool, what? Dry place. What else? The Other granules, because we are any any powder granules today. For and clinical uses. For okay, good. Yes. For cool. is that the, is that the last? Yes. For masculine cool, cool, what? Clinical use. use. So for masculine uses, of course. They are granules, ever be same granules are used as what? And as Do you agree with me? Yes. Good. Then methyl, methyl cellulose granules are used as what? You know what lagitives are? No. Hey! No. What are lagitives? <laughs> so you need not to check it off. What are lagitives? Hey! <laughs> I don't like this. This, this. this is not good. I keep, I keep repeating the same thing every day. It's not a good thing at all. What are laxatives? What class of drugs are known as laxatives? What do they do? Tell me what they do first. I'm listening. Constipation, right? So they will allow the evacuation, right? All right, so you can easily pass out what? Through of us. So when some find find it difficult to defecate, right? So they 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 they, they, they affect the boy boy bowel movement so that the person can do what? Pass out what? Now hello. The three, the first two we are purely clinicals. Pharmaceutically, for, okay, let's finish clinicals first. Next clinical is what? There, are these, um, there is this um, lactobacillus. Have you heard of um, in normal in, in, in the flora? Normal bacteria flora, okay? Actually, in your GIT, some bacteria are just there, normal. Yes. So do you need them? Uh, am I am I am I communicating? Yes. Now there are some drugs. There are some Mister Boniface. Just few minutes, okay? There are some that some of these medicines that are packaged in their their duty is to restore this bacterial flora. Am I communicating? In fact, most of the patients that have diarrhea, there's there's one popular one in Nigeria. They call what? Flor Florano. 
Who has seen it before? Sacrifice sees something. Okay, Google for a moment. Google for a moment. Google for a moment. Let's continue. For a moment. It's a brown name anyway. Flora. You know, if you were cutting from the flora. No, no more. No is what? No more. Flora is what? Flora. So that's where they got the name. Now, the one I, I also have lactiness. Lactiness is lactobacillus. It's a lact. It's lactobacillus what? Granules for diarrhea, for treatment of what diarrhea. You just restore, you know, the, the normal flora so that. And if if it restore you, if the, 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 the patient the diarrhea will be taken care of. So, lactiness granules is used for what to treat uncomplicated what. Diarrhea, uncomplicated words. Diarrhea. So this is clinical use. This is what clinical use. Then pharmaceutically, I think I have mentioned it. Pharmaceutically, granules are used for instant preparation of words, solutions and words, suspension. They are used pharmaceutically for instant preparation of words, solutions and words. So you can get them just Look at this one that is packaged as granules. If you get it, you just put it in water, right? It will do what? Then you can now take water, whatever. So both the when the reaction when the reaction is, is completed, whatever liquid there is carbonated is good for this. Is is both the carbonated and the CO2 there? I is what helps in the water. The action of the drug you are, you are, you are doing what you want to do what take. Now granules are also used as what? Animal, animal food. food. Go here now go outside, you see where they sell animal feed. Go 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 and open it. The bats, what you see there is what? Granules. Two of us. The granules. There are also granules are also used as for what? Fertilizers in the industries. But the two of us. Your yeah, fertilizer is in granule form. Two of us. Yes. Is it powder? No. It's not powder. It's what? Granules. So the last thing we do is to compare powder than what? Granules. And we are done with powder and what? Granules. Granules. And what? Granules. granules. So what everything here we have discussed in the big class. Two of us. True. So I, I, I don't think there's need to for us to waste time there. We have discussed everything here, powder versus grams, we discussed it. Powders have completely flu, flu properties. Three of us, mm. why granules can do what? Flu what? Very, very well. well. So, powders are relatively what? Stable. Mm -hmm. They are what? Relatively mm -hmm. what? Stable. Mm -hmm. Due to what? Are they stable or stable? Which one? Less, less, less what? Stable. stable. Due to what? Increase what? Surface words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are saying, see me, I'm available, come and react. So both the atmospheric, both what you go, they will, can easily do what. But power, but granules has what? Less so surface. Yeah. Yeah. So they are more stable to compare with what? Powder. So for some powders, drugs float on the surface, difficult to make solution. If you prepare some powders now, you know, you know powder. Float, right? Yes. You flow in water. So they can't easily be wetted. So you see the active act, act ingredient dancing on top of the water. So you cannot work. Two of us. Good. Now, but for granules, it's easily what? Wetted. Two of us. So. Of course, powders have poor compressibility to compare with what? Granules. But granules are easily what? Compressed. That's why you, you granulate before tabletting. I think we have discussed these things in, the, in, in this class. Yes. So, for powders, there is high chances of what? Non-uniform dosing. Yes. But for granules, at least you are sure. To compare with powder, you can be sure, you can beat your chest and say, yes, I'm sure of the dosing because of the nature of the words. Of the words. Good. Now, of course, powders produce more dust. Two of us, fines, right? Yes. But granules, they are, granules have more elegant what? Appearance. Three of us. Yes, sir. Granules have more elegant appearance. But powder, powder don't have much 
there are these granules in the first page. First, first, uh, is this first? On other granules, you see how beautiful it is. In a green background, right? It's inviting, right? Yes. But powder is not like that. Powder has less, less um, elegant words. So, of course, granules generate less what dust. Two of us. Yes, sir. I think uh, we'll stop here. Sorry. Yes. So do you use wet method? We call it wet granulation. Granulation. Uh, wet granulation. Okay, wet granulation, not wet granulation. No, no, no granulation. Please, dry granulation is the same thing. Wet granulation. It's actually dry granulation and wet granulation. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not drying it. Wet granulation is, is what? Levigation. Three of us, wet granulation is what? Levigation. Please, note that. Okay, at this junction, I, I think we'll stop here. In our next class, we'll start with what? Tablets. Tablets. Remember, 3 p.m. our quiz. 3 p.m. our quiz. And that one, that one, you also be live. Unless you have a skirt in your cupboard. <laughs> unless you have a skirt in your cupboard, it's life. No, 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 no. I've told you, if you, if you don't want to write, stay in your own yes. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you can do TikTok, we'll do it live. No, 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 no. If you can do video and post, we'll do this one. Unless you do like this. We'll catch you straight. All right, thank you very much for your attention. See you in the afternoon. God bless you.